Hello everyone, it's Patricia and welcome to my channel. Today I have a vendor wax uh, video and it's not really a haul. I had a new Canadian vendor ask if I would review their some of their wax. So I have the business card. It is called Bon Bon Candle Boutique. Like I said, it's a Canadian vendor out of Montreal. It's owned by Marion and she messaged me on Facebook, asked if I would check out some of her scents. I said, as long as you're okay with me being completely honest, and she said, of course. The only thing she asked me was if there was any scents I really disliked, and I said lavender. And I've opened the package, but I have not smelled anything. There are seven scents in the package. One is a two ounce scent shot, I believe, and the rest are just small shapes. So what I did was I went on her site. If you go on her business, Card. It says, Patricia, I hope you enjoy, and then it gives you her email and her site. Now, if you just go on the site, I had a hard time getting on, but but I went on Canadian Wax Chat and kind of clicked on a link there. And I got on it. Now, on her website, it says she is closing December 14th for the holiday season, and she will reopen in February. It also says if you put a certain code in, you get free shipping in Canada over $80. However, I was playing around with things in Certain things you also get free shipping with, so, and her shipping varies. I think it was as low as $5.25, and then it went up uh, depending on how much you ordered. So, she offers ready-to-ship things, and the only problem, I guess, is where we're having a strike in Canada. Mail strike, sometimes things are taking a long time. Her prices are a little bit on the high side. So, for example, a clamshell is $7.50 Canadian versus some of the other Canadian vendors, it's roughly $5, so. But maybe with the shipping charge, it kind of evens out. So let's just go over, what I'm gonna do is smell them, let you know what I think, and then in a separate video, uh, probably mid-January, I'm going to let you know how everyone did. I'm gonna warm them all in my home over the next month. I figure if we do the review video about two weeks before February, that will give people time in case they wanna order things when she opens. So, Let's start with, oh, one other thing. Her wax is a mixture of a lot of different, like it's soy, paraffin, coconut wax, I believe, apricot wax, I believe. There's a bunch of different waxes, so that's kind of interesting. Okay, so the first one, like I said, it's a two ounce, looks like a two ounce scent shot. It's in pumpkin pecan waffles. And that on the website, it says buttery pumpkin waffles, sweet maple syrup, and melting brown sugar. And then it says, this one will have your mother-in-law believing you can cook an incredible breakfast. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Uh, sprinkles. I'm not a fan of sprinkles, but I definitely get pumpkin and butter. I don't pick up any maple syrup at all. And not very much sweetness from the brown sugar. This is on the lighter side. Usually I find these ones are pretty intense, so we'll see how it um, comes along. These are room temperature. They came in yesterday. I let them warm up. It does not have a pour date on them. So the next one we'll do is marshmallow fireside, which is a little uh, present, and they're in just in these little. Um, sorry, I should have taken them out, but it's going to be a little noisy as I open each one. Marshmallow Fireside, ooey gooey marshmallow roasting on a midsummer evening bonfire, vanilla cream and crackling wood. Very soft marshmallow, almost like a perfumey characteristic. Very, very soft scent, not very strong. We'll see how that comes along. The next one, I do not have the scent notes. It's called Dawning on the Ritz. Two little presents in this one. These ones have sprinkles on them, or sprinkles, glitter, sorry. Mmm, that's nice. It's, it's kind of, it doesn't really have a food note to it. It reminds me more of like a sandalwood perfume vibe. It's, um, I would say medium strength, even medium to strong on that one. The next one is chai latte. Now on her site, it, she has a spice chai latte, which is probably the same thing. It's described as warm December evenings by the fire and a cup of hot spice chai in hand. And I love usually chai things, so 
Mmm, yeah, this is good. This is really good. Definitely chai. You can smell those spices. A little bit of that warmth coming out, like a vanilla undertone, that caramel kind of, not caramel, but you know how it kind of sneaks in. That's good. Love it. I would say about medium strength on that. Maybe a little lighter than medium, but that is good. The next one is ricotta stuffed cannoli. And I just um, burned the Italy candle, so I'm wondering if it's going to smell like that. We'll see. I don't have the scent notes for this. Mmm, this is very... Very soft. Yeah, it doesn't have a lot of scent. It kind of doesn't really smell like a marshmallow or anything like that, but it's along that low vibe. Because ricotta doesn't really have scent. Cannoli is like a, a fried dough. So you're getting a tiny bit of that. Now sometimes when you have something like ricotta, which is a soft scent, you add those two things together, it kind of brings the, the intensity down. But yeah, that's good. I mean, it's it's interesting. I, I don't think I've smelled anything like that before, so that's good. There wasn't any chocolate notes like there was in the Italy candle. The next one you have is Chardonnay. <laughs> I'm a little nervous about this one. I probably should have told her I don't like wine scents, but <laughs> I forgot. But so if I don't like this, it probably has nothing to do with the, the vendor. But this isn't so bad. I'm going to grab a couple. These are very, very thin little... I don't even know what they are. Pretend wax uh, bars. It's kind of cute. It's, it, it doesn't really smell a lot like Chardonnay to me, so maybe that's why I like it. It's more of like a perfumey floral. It says it's supposed to be, I looked it up somewhere, um, it's supposed to be like a white wine with like a little bit of fizz. If it's a white wine, it's kind of like a fruity white wine with like a floral undertone. Yeah, that's not too bad. I like it because it doesn't smell like Chardonnay to me. So I'm filming this really early in the morning. I had to bring the blind all the way down. I'm on my way to work. You see my ugly uniform here. This is my, this is my cover up my uniform <laughs> sweater. Um, the last one we have is Lucky Lemon Loops. And this one, the description is on the site. It says, I, I'm going to condense it here. Your two favorite cereals plus grandma's finest lemon cookies. So you're probably having your Lucky Charms and your Fruit Loops and grandma's cooking her lemon cookies in the background. And this is cute because it's a big kind of candy. Yeah. I like cereal blends like those Fruit Loops and Lucky Charms. And you can definitely smell the lemon cookies. It's like the sweetness of the cereals and then the lemon and the tone of that um, cookie. Yeah, you can smell that. That's pretty good. I would say that's about a medium. So we'll see how this does. I'm trying to keep this video short. Check back in about one month and I will put up a review video in case you're interested in trying out this vendor. Thank you so much to Marion for trusting me with her wax and I'll try to give you my honest review and I will warm it throughout my house over the next three to four weeks. Anyway, thanks for uh, spending the last nine minutes with me. As always, I hope you have a great day in your neck of the woods. Take care, and I will see you in the next video.